So in this video, we will discuss how to add new WooCommerce order details in Microsoft Excel. Now suppose guys you are a WooCommerce store owner and you want whenever you receive a new order in your WooCommerce store, you want to add the details of that new order into your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Now you guys, you can completely automate this process and the trigger of this automation will be receiving a new order in WooCommerce and the action will be addition of new row, addition of new order details into MS Excel. Now guys, how you can set up your this automation for yourself to know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to our browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will click on sign in and sign into my own Pavli Connect account. After signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pavli. Here we have to click on access now below Pavli Connect. And now we can see that we have reached to Pavli Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name this workflow as WooCommerce to Microsoft Excel. WooCommerce to Microsoft Excel and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of new order, which we are receiving on our WooCommerce store in Pavli Connect. After that, using Pavli Connect, we will send that new order details to Microsoft Excel to maintain the record and add new row. So let's begin. So here in trigger window in choose app, we will search for WooCommerce. After selecting WooCommerce in the trigger event from the drop down, we have to select new order created. Now as we select our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between WooCommerce and Pavli Connect. And how we are going to do so? You can refer to the help text given below over here. So just copy this webhook URL from here go to your WooCommerce account. So this is my WordPress site where I have installed my WooCommerce plugin. And here we just have to go to WooCommerce and then go to settings. After reaching to the settings page of WooCommerce account, here we just have to click on advanced. And after clicking on advanced, here we can see several options out of which we have to click on webhooks. Now we can see that we have reached to webhook page of our WooCommerce account. Just click on this add webhook button over here and after that we have to give this webhook a name. So the webhook which we are creating, uh, for example, I would like to name it as Pavli. Then after that it is asking us for the status. So by default it is disabled, we will change it to active. Then it is asking us for the topic. So in the drop down below we can see a long list of topics out of which we have to select order created. And after that it is asking us delivery URL. So here in place of delivery URL, we have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Pavli Connect. And that's it. We have successfully completed the webhook addition process. Just click on save webhook and we will see that our WooCommerce store will now automatically get connected with Pavli Connect using this webhook URL. If you have any doubt or confusion regarding this connection process or selecting topic, you can refer to the help text given below over here. And after making the connection between WooCommerce and Pavli Connect, now every time we will receive a new order in our WooCommerce store, the details of that order will also be captured inside Pavli Connect. So here in Pavli Connect, it is showing us recapture webhook response. Just click on this button and now we will see it is changed to waiting for webhook response, which means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some details of new order or some response of new order from WooCommerce. So what we are going to do, we are going to place a test order, a dummy order on our own WooCommerce store. So we have connected a WooCommerce with Pavli Connect. Now we will visit our WooCommerce store and here we are going to place a test order. For example, here I have a product that is a black, black t-shirt. So I'll just click on this product, add to cart. Just place a test order of this product. Scroll down, proceed to checkout. So the pr price of this product is 1000 rupees. 
So here we have the details of a dummy customer. So this is a name of a dummy customer test dummy. Then this is the address of the customer. This is the email address and this is the mobile number of the customer whose details we are entering by placing this test order. Then let's just click on place order. And the order is successfully placed. We have successfully placed a test order on a WooCommerce store. And we because we have connected WooCommerce with Pavli Connect using the Webhook URL, we will see that in our Pavli Connect workflow, we will get the response of this newly placed order as well. So let's wait for a few seconds as we get the response from WooCommerce in Pavli Connect. And as you can see, just now we have received a response in Pavli Connect workflow as well. And here in this response, we will see the details of the same order which we have placed just now. So we have the order ID, the order status, status of the order. Then we will scroll down when we have the order created date and time. So date and time at what date and time this order has been placed. Then after that, we will scroll down and we have the total amount of this order. That what is the total amount of the complete order. Then after that, we will scroll down. So we have the first name of the person, first name of the customer who placed the order. Last name, we have the address, email address, phone number. And then when we will scroll down, we will also have the details of the product which the customer has placed. So we will scroll down over here and we will find that the, this is the name of the product that the customer has ordered. This means guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now completed. Now we have successfully connected WooCommerce with Pavli Connect and received the data or the response of new order. Every new order we receive on WooCommerce store, we will get the details of that order in Pavli Connect. Now let's move to step two and in step two, we have to send this new order details to Microsoft Excel. Now to do so using Pavli Connect, we will just scroll down on our workflow and come to action window. And here in choose app, we will search for Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel it is. And after that, in action event from the drop down, we have to select add row to worksheet. Just select this action event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now guys, we have to connect our Microsoft Excel account with Pavli Connect. So to make the connection, just click on this connect with Microsoft Excel. And here it is in a new tab in a new window. It is asking me for the authorization permission. Now guys, because I have already logged into my Excel online account in my browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account. And here it is asking me for the authorization permission. Just click on yes. And we will see that our Microsoft Excel account will now automatically get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the workbook. And in the drop down below, we will see a list of all the workbooks which we have created in our Microsoft Excel account can be seen over here. So we have to select the workbook in which we want to add this WooCommerce order details. So I have created a dedicated workbook by the name of WooCommerce orders. And in this workbook, I want to add the new order details. So here in the drop down, I will select that workbook. And after selecting the workbook, the next thing it asks us is the worksheet. So as you can see in this workbook, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. So here in worksheet, I'll just select sheet one over here. And after selecting our sheet, it is asking us column one, column, column A, column B, column C, D, E, F, G, H. All the columns of data of all the columns of headers which I have created in this worksheet can be seen in Pavli Connect. Now Pavli Connect is asking us in, with, in these columns, what is the data which we want to add? So in column A, I have created column A for order ID as you can see over here. So we have to basically enter the order ID of the new order which we have received. So we have received the order ID in WooCommerce responses in Pavli Connect in our trigger window. So here in trigger responses, the first thing which we have received was order ID. So we have to basically map this same word order ID over here in this field of column A in Microsoft Excel action window. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the responses which we have received from WooCommerce of a new order. So out of all of these details, we will just select the response of new ID and we can see that this data is mapped. So in this way, all the responses of new order, which we receive from WooCommerce and Pavli Connect in our trigger with step, we will map that data one by one in this action step of Microsoft Excel. So after order ID, the next column was of status. So we have also received the status of the order. So we will just map it and the process of mapping remains the same. We will just click on this field and from the drop down below from the responses of WooCommerce, we will just select the response of status and map it is mapped. 
then it is asking us date and time of the order so we will follow the, follow the same process of mapping so date created this is the date and time at what date and time this order was created so we will select it and map it then the fourth column the column d is of the name of the customer so here in the drop down we have received the name of the customer let me see the response for the name so here we have received the first name and last name as separate responses so first we'll select the response of first name we will map it then we will give a space and from the drop down after that we will map the last name then we have to map the email address of the customer so from the drop down responses select the response of email and map it next is the phone number so we have also received the phone number let's map the phone number then the name of the product so let's search for the product name So we don't have the product name by this name let's search like this okay so line item name so this is the name of the product which the customer has ordered let's select and map it and in column h we have to enter the total amount so from the drop down below over here we have this response of the total amount of the order just select and map it so in this way we have mapped all the details of the woocommerce order in this microsoft excel action step after mapping these details let's click on save and send test request And now we can see that as we click on save and test request, we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the order details of the new order which we have received on our WooCommerce store are now added in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So let's check. We'll go to our Excel sheet and we will just refresh this sheet once. And yes guys, here we can see that in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, the details of the new order which we have the test order which we have played ju placed just now are now automatically added in the new row so we have the order id of the order we have the status the date and time of the order we have the name of the customer who placed the order the email mobile number the name of the product which was ordered and the total amount so guys we can see that the automation which we have created in this video is now working perfectly fine so every time we will receive a new order in our woocommerce store automatically instantly the details of that new order will be added in our microsoft excel sheet over here in the new row automatically so after setting up this automation let's test this automation once we will once again go to a woocommerce store and here this time we'll place another order for example this time i will order this iron press let's click on add to cart and this time let's change the details of the customer who is placing the order as well let's click on proceed to checkout let me change the name of the person for example this time demo name so this is the name of the customer then let's also change the email address this is the email address and also the mobile number so this is the new mobile number of the customer after that let's click on place order so now we can see that just now Using some details of a customer, this new customer named as demo name, we have placed another order after setting up this automation in our WooCommerce store. Now we will see that because we have created this automation, automatically, instantly, the details of this new order will be added in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet here in a new row. So let's test it. We will just refresh this Excel sheet once. And yes guys, here we can see that just now, the order which we have placed just now on a WooCommerce store, the same order details are instantly automatically added as a new row in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So we have the order ID of the order, we have the status, the date and time that at what date and time we have placed the order. We have the name of the customer, the same name which we have just now entered while placing the order, demo name. So we have the same name, same email address and same mobile number of the customer. Also the same product which we have ordered, that was iron press. So we have ordered the iron press over here and we also have the same amount of the order. So total, total amount of the order is also the same. So guys, we have tested this automation in real time that this automation is working absolutely fine. Now after setting up this automation, let's get back to Pabli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed. So guys, first we have created a workflow in Pabli Connect. And in this workflow, we have selected WooCommerce as a trigger application and new order created was our trigger event. Then after that, using a webhook URL, we have connected our WooCommerce store with Pabli Connect so that every time we receive a new, commerce in Woo, new order in WooCommerce, the details of that order should be captured inside Pabli Connect. And then after that, using Pabli Connect, we have sent this new order details to Microsoft Excel so that we can add those details as a new, as a new data 
in Microsoft Excel sheet as well. So not just these application guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video, don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you, have a nice day.